Hi there, thank you for joining us. I'm Philip Duncan with your weekend weather update, the outlook for next week, and also the potential cyclone around Western Australia. So let's kick off with the animated wind map for the end of the working week. And there is still that southeast breeze around the country. And to be honest with you, get used to this setup because we've really got a few days of southeasterly winds blowing around the North Island while high pressure out to the west moves in over the South Island. Meanwhile, up to the northwestern side of Aussie, there is that next cyclone. Uh, it is likely to reach category three as it moves out to sea, and then it could come back in and make landfall around about Tuesday or Wednesday next week. But there's a little bit of confusion still with the uh, long range guidance on that. So we're gonna show you the uh, two options that are showing at the moment. So this is how it looks for Saturday around the country. and. Basically, this is the setup for the next few days ahead. We've got a lot of uh, showery weather around the eastern side of the North Island. Some of it on Saturday will affect Canterbury, but it will clear away as the day goes on. High pressure is actually building around the South Island, but it'll be a cold start. There might be some frosts inland first thing, certainly a cooler day for many of you. In the north, a bit more of a breeze, a little cloudier for those who are not getting the showers, you still might be a bit cloudy as that system uh, works its way through. So once we go to Sunday, um, those rain clouds actually build up a little more. So there might be even more wet weather around on Sunday in the North Island. There's still a bit of a shower risk for Northern Canterbury up towards Marlborough. Otherwise, uh, a lot of that is still up in the North Island, but even Nelson might get a little bit of that rain clipping the ticket uh, as it comes through Cook Strait. But there's still a fair bit of high pressure down over the South Island on the lower half of it. So that's why things are a lot more settled there and certainly cooler in the mornings. Next, get to next week and a small area of low pressure just off the Gisborne coastline is going to continue that southeasterly flow basically just around the North Island. It might be a bit more southerly and southwesterly the further north you go as it goes around that low. But again, the South Island, high pressure, things are pretty light there. But for the next few days, it is certainly going to be windier, cooler, cloudier, and uh, a little bit wetter around the eastern side of the North Island. So Tuesday next week sees high pressure actually coming back in to the North Island area. And that actually will calm things down and sort of reverse the weather pattern that we've got between now and then. So we'll start to see those showers being pushed away. And in the South Island, the warmth comes back. You'll find that the weather gets warmer next week as these nor'westers come in ahead of what is a cold front and another big uh, low down in the Southern Ocean. So by the time we get through to uh, Wednesday of next week, there is this cold front moving up the country and with a little bit of rain around behind it and the North Island still under high pressure. So next week's a little bit of reversal where the North Island gets the high pressure and the South Island starts to go downhill. But we do expect that front to fall apart as it moves into the North Island. Quickly going over to Aussie now, and this is the latest tracking from the Bureau of Meteorology, the Australian government, and they are certainly predicting this come, uh, turns into a cyclone reaching severe category three status uh, over the next couple of days out at sea. And as you can see, it is out at sea. There's Broome, it's quite a well-known area, so it's a decent way out away from that. But it's what happens towards the end of it that we're not quite so sure about. So this is Wednesday next week, and this is the ECM modeling out of Europe showing quite an intense storm, but a long way out to sea, potentially another storm coming in behind it. And when we switch to GFS from America for the same day, Wednesday next week, again, uh, this is pulling it back inland and making landfall exactly where Cyclone Veronica did the other week. So there's quite a little difference between the two and I end up, I think it probably will end up somewhere out at sea, but quite close. So one to keep an eye on, and there is still the potential for another low following in behind that one. We'll keep you up to date, but at this stage, it's not looking quite as bad as Cyclone Veronica was, but things can always change with these storms. We're still in the peak of the cyclone season. That's all from me. Have a good weekend. We'll see you again on Monday.